talking about is called a water spout. We've seen them before in West Michigan, and we actually can see them all around the Great Lakes region. So check out this photo. This is from South Haven. This was sent in from one of our viewers yesterday, and uh, you can see almost like a cold air funnel or water spout starting to form that Sam sent in. And this is an example from the National Weather Service. It looks like tornadoes almost coming out of the water, right? Well, here's what happens. Cold air, it travels over the relatively warm open waters of the Great Lakes. This creates a large temperature difference, and then it forms this tunnel that we recognize or think of as a tornado. So we need water temperature, air temperature, moisture, wind speed. They're all the parameters that are considered in order for this to form. Typically, we have warm water and then cold and moist air with relatively light wind speeds. And this is then when they form. So there's two types of these. Actually, we have tornadic and fair weather uh, water spouts, tornadic water spouts. They act like land tornadoes. So they can form over the water or move from land to the water. We don't typically see those. We typically see fair weather water spouts and they happen out over the water. Now they can move on land, but they're very short lived and they move less. So there's less possibilities of that, but they form over the Great Lakes typically for late summer and early fall. So we're right in the months that they happen for August, September and October. Now fair weather water spouts, they're actually rarely dangerous and mostly impact anybody out on the water. But if they do move on shore, they tend to dissipate pretty quickly and they cause little to no damage. So there's not a whole lot of concern there, but we have seen them. And even later this week, we have uh, more possibilities to see them later on as well. So keep your eye out if you're out along the lakeshore.